Hey folks, Michael McGee here. A lot of people get bit by the homestead bug and they've got to have a milk cow. Now they, they don't start out with a milk cow. They start out with the gateway drug, the chicken. But after that, they want to get on into something else. The milk cow will make you more self-sufficient than any other animal I know on the homestead. But it's not just fun and games. It's not always easy. I'm so proud of my son, Joel. He started milking when he was seven years old. He's been milking ever since. He's 15. The boy is very responsible and he knows how to handle a cow and he knows what to do. And he's gonna show you everything that you need to know for the milking process. We're not gonna be calving or anything like that, but for the milking process, every day, day in and day out, two times a day, this has to be done. Let's take a look.
So folks, that's how we do milking here at the McGee Homestead. They have milkers you can use. We don't use them, we just milk it. Get her done, the least amount of stuff to clean up, the better, that's the way we feel about it. So anyway, if you're interested in having a milk cow, we support that, we believe in that. But don't get one if you're not ready to face up to the music and lay with it, you gotta be responsible. There's not a lot of responsible people. Uh, let's just say people that are responsible are harder and harder to find. I hope you are. But anyway, we're gonna get on out of here. We appreciate you watching. We live this way because we want to, not because we have to. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. And don't think that you're just gonna reach in the refrigerator and grab out a big old jug of milk and start chugging it down because it's gonna have about an inch and a half, two to three inches of cream on top. That's the way it works. The cream rises. You're gonna to have to skim that off or shake it up. Now, if you shake it all in and make it 100% whole, it's pretty creamy. Probably a little more than you might want. But if you just take a second, skim it off, then you've got a whole pint jar full of cream to put in your coffee to mix with your eggs when you scramble them and to use for, well, just about anything else you wanna use a good heavy cream for. You can make butter, you can make whipped cream. What else can you make? There's a lot of different things you can do with heavy cream. It's kind of expensive at the store.